Lewis, thank you so much for your time. I, one of the things I noticed that seems to be coming full circle, because we've talked about this on TechWise TV for a while, which is this, this notion of virtualizing the desktop, which is really an old concept. I mean, no one, it, it, you know, you hear that, and a lot of people kind of groan and they go, haven't we been down this road before? But what I've been excited about the VXI architecture and the initiatives that Cisco has been working on, because I've, it's really been fun watching it mature to the point where it looks like we are right now, Absolutely. which is the fact that this stuff really does work the way we always kind of thought it was supposed to. Right. And uh, it looks to me, so correct me if I'm wrong, that you're prepared to show us this in action. This is literally what a couple of people's desktop looks like? Yes. So what we have here as uh, part of our, our demo structure here is we have our zero clients, our VXC, our virtual experience clients, the 2100 series and the 2200 series. They come in two form factors. We have the zero client, for the, it's called an integrated form factor which snaps in directly to the back of an 8900, 9900 series phone. So not phone. just a big stand, that's an actual, com that's your remote computer connection. Absolutely, yeah. that's the whole desktop, zero client, right to the back of the phone, snaps right into where the kickstand would be on the phone. We have the other model, which is the 2200 series model, which is a standalone form factor, so if you don't happen to have an 8900 or 9900 series phone, say you have a 7942 or a 7965, you could use this standalone form factor as your desktop environment. Or if you have a Princess phone on an analog line and you're ready for VXI. There you if go. those two worlds have somehow not collided yet. Absolutely. <laughs> you can deal with that, okay. The, the, the nice thing about the Zero clients is it really just, there's two different protocols that run with it. There's the ICA protocol that connects to the Citrix backend. There's the PCOIP protocol that connects to a VMware View backend. We support both of those. We support both of those. And the, the, the competitive factor that we have in these endpoints, these are power over ethernet endpoints. So I could use my existing switch infrastructure using my 802.3 AT power source to connect and power these, these sources on the, these clients. So once again, infrastructure that people have already been investing in from our customer's perspective now just gets that much more reason to go, hey, it's all smooth. This Absolutely. is all kind of part of the layout. Okay. Yep. And so what we have here is we, we have the zero client at DCPs, connects to the backend infrastructure. So where we have today is our backend data center is sitting in the San Jose data center okay. back at Cisco. And we have personal communicator 8.5 loaded on both of these virtual desktops and they're actually controlling our 997100 phone. So the soft phone experience and, and that kind of integration is still all there as well. It's well, it's a desk phone control of the, the personal communicator directly to control the phone. So now when I make an audio call, I can make a point-to-point -point audio call from the two phones and my media is traversing the point-to-point -point path versus the display protocol back to the data center. Because why go through there if you don't have to? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So Very let's cool. do a quick demo of that. Set up the call. That launched a call. This is a desktop controlled via here from the tower calling here. Okay. So now I have a video call set up and I'm controlling the phone from my personal communicator. And in that situation, the data center is involved in, of course, giving us the desktops. But as far as the call control side, it says here's where you how you connect, but then I'm out of it. That's correct. The, okay. the call signal will go back to the call control and then the, the media stream, the RTP media path will actually be from point, point to point. The way it always should have been, assuming it was ever possible. Yeah, Absolutely. I like it. Okay. And I said I can tear down the call remotely, and I've teared down my, my call control. So it looks like we've got, obviously, two full-on desktops here, but you haven't told us what's going on here. In the middle here, we have the CS tablet. So as you can see, we've got the home page for a CS tablet. We actually have a Citrix receiver client that's sitting here as, as an Android app, and I can log into that, and now I've got my virtualized desktop that's sitting back into the, 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 the data center. This is the real genius, isn't it? Because this totally caught me by surprise, the fact that we could turn your phone still looks like the same old phone I ever had before, but now I'm not burning up the desktop real right. estate. But now I've tied this mobility thing into it, and now you've redefined the desktop experience because the desk is now gone. You don't Absolutely. need the desk anymore. Yep. Okay. And so this also operates as an audio client, so if I go to want to talk to that user, I can bring up a call that answers So that's the here. same extension on that one as well. So now I have the user on this phone that I can set up that call. That is the way it should be. Now... How much of this stuff, from a vaporware type of perspective, we've been building towards this for a while, and we've talked about it on our show. This stuff is shipping now, about ready to ship? The CS tablet itself is, a, is, a, is close to shipping, and these the zero clients or these virtual experience clients are also close to shipping. So orderability for these clients will be at the end of March time Literally, frame. Yeah, so we're talking about less than a month. Yeah, less than a month okay. away. And then we've got the CS tablet that's, that's also as part of a mid-2011 calendar year deliverable. This is genius. Now, how easier was it? How much easier was it to set this kind of demonstration up because of the very nature of what you're demonstrating 
than maybe in years past with other demos. I mean, it seems like this is a natural fit for, hey, take it anywhere, right? Yeah, the thing that's nice about this is that you have complete control of the data center of your, of your desktop environment. And as far as setting up the demo, it's just a matter of plugging in a few phones, using your AT power source and connecting back to the, the, the data center that has my communications manager, has my presence server for presence and IM, has the ability to do audio and video call control, and also connecting the CS applications back through the, the Wi-Fi network. And that's the difference, right? Because of that full control end to end from data center all the way through the endpoint, that's where the rich media possibilities really become real now because it, we've had pretty interfaces before where little bits of the puzzle have been offered up, but this is the first time we've really got them all working and singing in concert, right? So we're, we're taking that virtual desktop experience and, and what we've found is that we have to take the existing user experience and improve upon it, otherwise people don't migrate oh, to they it. they want to adopt it, right? They want to adopt it and we're working towards creating and integrating the unified collaboration and communications aspect into the virtual desktop environment to give you that complete end-to-end -end solution. Anything I forgot to ask you here? I want to make sure we covered it all. To end on that was to, to say that we have that end-to-end -end architecture. We're adding the unified communications and collaboration into your desktop environment and can, can deliver you a complete compact solution, as indicated here, with a, a, a form factor that fits directly into this phone. Well, I feel bad because people have been interrupting trying to get your time because everybody wants to get hands-on with this, and it's been difficult to pull off. But, hey, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate this your is time, good Rob. stuff, very good stuff.